All right, so now what we're going to do is the population that we just examined, where we have very few low needle sizes and very few high needle sizes, we often give that a name. It's called a normal distribution. And what we can do is look at patterns of natural selection based on the frequency of some trait. So that was spine numbers in the earlier example, but we can continue with this. If we were to add up all the numbers and divide it by the number of individuals that we sampled, we would see that this here in the middle is the mean the mean of that population, okay, or the average value. The spread of the distribution, so from the smallest to the largest value, is the range, but what we're going to talk about rather than range is what's called variation. Okay. In a directional selection, what we're going to find is that one of the values is selected against, either the high values or the low values for that particular trait. So in a, this is our original distribution. And in the peccary example, all of the small spined numbered individuals were selected against. And so over time, what happened is this distribution shifted. So we'll see that that mean value, the mean of the original population, is now different from the mean of our subsequently sampled population. In addition, if we look at the variation in the distribution, it hasn't really changed. So our means of our initial is not equal to our subsequently sampled population. And the variation between the two are equal.